Okay, so we come to part six in the SPSS statistics tips and tricks series, and this time we're looking at creating new table looks. This will allow us to customize the appearance of SPSS output. And it's particularly useful if you want to have output that matches a particular house style, whether your own house style or those of a client, or you simply want to uh, create your own table looks uh, with your own aesthetic properties associated with it. Let's have a look at how we do that. It's not necessary on this occasion to focus on the data view of SPSS and instead we're going to switch to the viewer window where I've got a couple of tables, identical tables, that have been created. Um, the top one here really reflects the uh, default uh, style in SPSS version 24. And in fact, uh, every copy of SPSS ships with a series of templates or table looks that you can change. If you want to alter the table look, then probably the best thing to do is just double click on the piece of output that you want to alter and either right click and call up uh, the table looks menu or go to format and call up table looks. So go to format table looks here. You'll see the list of different table looks that are available to me. So here's the, the default, the system default as you can see. Then we have the classic default and we can just jump through these. You'll see the various uh, types of table looks and uh, uh, formatting that ships with the software and there's quite a, quite a bunch of them in there. But it's pretty easy to actually create your own table looks. So let's have a look at how we would do that on the second uh, table at the bottom here. So again, double click and this time I'll just right click and call up uh, the table properties. When you call up the table properties, it defaults to the general tab. And you can see the options here, hide, empty, rows and columns. You can change the minimum, maximum width. It's probably, uh, the, I recommend that you probably, if you want to get started, go to the cell formats tab here and start changing some of the colors, for example. So if I click on the, the header here in the, on the right hand side, and I can change the background colors in the font. So let's say I just go and change the background color first of all. Let's go and choose a color. So in the other here, let's choose, I can choose, as you can see, it's quite a range of different colors depending on what your baseline color is. So I could choose this one, say, yeah, that looks okay. I'll have that, click OK, and hit Apply. Now the font's pretty dark, so I can pick that up and say, OK, I want a different color for that. Pick a, a, a yellow here and maybe make it much paler. Make it much paler and hit Apply. And then for the stub here in the corner, again, I can make a different color or the same color. Um, if I go in here and just say, let's have a really dark color there, click OK. And then for the side here, we'll choose again another color. And this time we'll just go for a dark grey and we'll choose a, uh, a white font there. We can choose a different font if we want as well. We'll choose, let's say, Arial down the side and hit Apply. And we can see it changing in the background here. If we want to change the colours of the borders and the boxes around it, we can click on the Borders tab here and either select an individual border or alternatively, if you just want to see the effect of it, I'd, I'd recommend hit Control a to select everything and then choose style, thickness for the for the lines, and then choose a color. So you can see the background here in the default, but you can choose a different color here if you wanted. Hit apply and make that blue, or a very dark blue if one wanted. And the same with regard to um, the cell formats here. If you wanted to have things like in the, in the rows and the columns here, alternate row colors. I go back here and say, yeah, I'll have an alternative row color, and then apply. You can have that set in there as well click OK at that point. If you want to keep that table look, all you've got to do is right click on the background. Once again, sorry, double click to activate it. Right click on the background, go to the table looks. And you've got one as displayed. If you say save as, and say OK, I'm going to put this into a temp folder. So I'll just put it into a temporary folder here, C temp. And we'll call it example. You can see that um, this is given the extension .stt. So hit save here and OK. And then if I want to set that up as my default table look, it's a matter of going to Edit, Options, then going to Pivot Tables, and looking for wherever you stored that uh, particular table look. So if I go to Browse here, and once again go to um, C Temp, choose that, hit Open, hit Apply, OK, and then run any procedures that you want to run again. So let's say do cross tab here of job cut against gender, click OK, and you can see that that table look has been applied.